The sickness moves faster than influenza. But we got some quinine. That's good if anyone gets malaria. Hello friends and welcome back to Vampire. Last week, a lot happened. We died, we were resurrected a vampire, we promptly bit our sister and killed her, went on a, a, a an adventure involving talking to a bunch of people in a pub, found a man who was uh, a skull, I think? A, a, sort of a demi-vampire who was very, very angry, killed him, and then got a job working the night shift in a hospital. Can't say things don't move fast in 1918 in London. <clears throat> All righty. Come on, you bastard. You can do better than that. Oh. Who is... Oh. Nah. It's not a... Nah. Goodness me, we're witnessing a murder. Rotten or crusty, each heart contains the seed of life. Drink at this river. Dry it all. Is this a test? Or are we... He gave you a good poke. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Oh. Ah. Medical checkup. Press for more details. Ugh, only 500 XP quality from this guy. I mean, he's a murderer who just just killed someone. I kind of feel like this one's a freebie. Let's toy with him. Be more polite. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right. Sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yabbering yes. on. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. <laughs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Okay. Oh, I kind of feel like... He just about saved his own skin there with his response. I don't know. Blood quality. The blood quality indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. I know. Our doctor friend is worth so much if we just, you know, just doink. Just <laughs> drain him dry. Mesmerize. To drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them straight... Uh, to lead them out of sight from others. Your mesmerized level must be equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. Press Q to mesmerize clay. Oh, this is a tutorial. We're, we're, we're doing this. Well, that's one way of mesmerizing someone. Bring this fading light into the shadows. Dance with him the dance of life and death. Okay, press... Okay, press left click to embrace Clay Cox or spacebar to release him. Embracing Clay will provide a massive XP boost, but be aware there will be consequences. Learning more about systems and collecting their hints will increase the experience gained. Are they singing Rumlord? Rumlord... Rum Lord, I'm gonna, I'm gonna release him. I'm gonna release him, and I'm gonna tell you why. I just, I don't want my first citizen to be this bloke. You know, I, th you know, he just dabbed someone and threw him in the river, and he was a bit of an asshole. But I just feel like we can do better. You know, release. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Yeah, great. Whoa, I feel giddy. Yeah, I bet you do. Come on. Come to the hospital. All right. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. 
but no famished hunter can run for long. Okay, but we bit like 20 people while killing them last week. I suppose that was last week. Oh, sorry, Dorothy. Well, Dorothy's pissed off. Hello, Dorothy. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, Ooh. no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Hooray! Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Thank you. That's also a good reason not to bite Clay Cox. Right on our doorstep, you know? It's... Don't, don't shit what you eat. I was looking for a more... I was looking for a much more... Uh, what's the word? Elegant way of describing that, but just don't shit what you eat. Just don't. Don't shit there. I would like to ask a few questions first. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. All right. Bloody hell. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. By me. Okay. How is Mr. Hampton? And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. Mm. Okay, goodbye. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Right. Pembroke Hospital. Pembroke Hospital. What's this? Brr, city. Brr, you. Life saved by efficient medical aid is a blow struck at the brr, of the flu epidemic. Volunteers make the difference. Oh. Sure. Why did th why did that happen again? That happened last week. Stop doing that. It terrifies me. At least it didn't happen like mid combat or anything, but that wasn't good. Anyway. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Prevent disease. Careless spitting, sneezing, coughing, spread influenza, spread by droplets, spread from the nose and throat. Do not cough in public! This is very impressive looking. What's this? Can I read this? No. Find your office on the second floor. Find your office on the... Well, I suppose this is the second floor, is it? We had this discussion last week. This is the first floor. What we got in here? A knife! Don't crap. Oh, gonna... Used hacksaw. Right, yep, good. Nothing quite like arming yourself the second you start a new job with a bottle of cheap gin and a hacksaw. Okay, here we go. Dr. Reed. Wow, they've, they've made that sign unbelievably quickly. Yep, in we go then. This must be the place. Wow. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Wow, this place is bigger than my flat. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Mm -hmm. Article on Econs. Econs? It is a rare opportunity and mo almost a privilege to approach a vampire to observe their most intriguing physical and psychological traits with a scientific and rational eye. Here are some of the most fascinating abilities I've personally observed over the last ten years while interviewing a few vampires, or Econ, as they prefer to call themselves. Hmm? 
Supernatural speed. A vampire can act and move like a mortal in all his actions, but the trained eye will spot that they have the keenest senses and can react quicker than any mortal. On a few occasions, alarm, surprise, necessity to flee. I have seen a vampire move so quickly it is almost as if he had vanished, just to reappear somewhere else. The human eye cannot follow their movements when they act so quickly, but it is not a teleport or dematerialization. It is only a supernatural speed. For me, it is a cat-like attribute, which allows them to run, dodge, or jump longer and faster than us. I also notice that such speed seems to exhaust them, and that they are bound to physical limitations. Mesmerism. One of the most powerful abilities a vampire can deploy is the capacity to force a mortal to obey them. I call this trait mesmerism, but it has nothing to do with the mortal ability to alter a subject's mental state. A vampire can bend a mortal to their will, and they can even break a mind. A vampire I interviewed even told me the more a subject tries to resist, the more permanent the damage will be, as if the vampire could literally fracture their target psyche. The same vampire explained to me that this ability required time to master, and that the result could vary widely from one one subject to another. Implant a false memory, erase a powerful one. No, oh, sorry. Implant a false memory, erase a painful one. The possibilities are endless and frightening. Blood awareness. This may be the most catastrophic ability of all concerning vampires, since it is the cause of so many tragedies for them and us. Vampires crave for blood. They must use their will to restrain themselves from frenziedly drinking every drop of blood they can see. They need blood to function and to express their full supernatural traits. A famished vampire can be very weak, even if he cannot die of hunger or thirst. This urge, this need for blood, may explain why a vampire is so aroused by it. A vampire confessed to me that blood could sometimes blind him, since its smell and attractiveness can be so strong. When he focuses, a vampire can almost see blood all around them. Inside warm bodies, through walls, on a supposedly clean weapon, etc. The same vampire even told me that he can see if a mortal has clean blood or is ill, and that in some cases he can even sense diseases, infected clothes, or even items in a room. If this is true, it could have so many medical applications, it almost beggars belief. Interesting. And comprehensive. Let's go examine the blood at the work f friend bench. That's the word. To analyse a sample, blood sample of William Bishop. Serums. Light regeneration serum. Regenerate 300 health points instantly, then 150 health points over 15 seconds. Wow. That's not so bad. And then what have we got? We could... We've not really got any upgrades. A bottle of cheap gin. Oh yeah, we can recycle things. Okay. Well... We're not going to get famous tartrate out of a watch or a bottle of cheap gin, so I guess we'll leave that alone. Blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. Okay. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. Okie dokie. I have so much time now. Hmm, indeed. Not so much XP, because we didn't bite the man, but that's okay. We've still got some XP. Uh, let's see. Blood. Increase your blood capacity. Big thirst. Increase, increase your blood absorption when using biting combat. We already bought that, right? Yeah, we bought body condition, shadow mist, autophagy. We already had. Ooh. Defensive coagulation. You will block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. God. Hmm. Let's take let's get coagulation. It's hilarious sounding. Yes, please. Confirm. The following night. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Indeed. Answer the doer. Yes, I know, I know, I know. You yes. Hello, nurse. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? 
I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. Okay. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... There isn't? No antiseptics at all? What type of hospital are you running? Well, don't bollock the woman. No antiseptics. You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. Okay. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Well, that's cool that we didn't just go like, blah, 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 blah. We've actually come up with this solution. Although, the end of a narrow street sounds dangerous. I sure hope nobody attacks me, mistaking me for some sort of creature. Hmm? I mean, I guess we go out the front door and then round the side, right? Do, do, do. And the old morgue. Come on. Influenza. Frequently complicated with pneumonia. To prevent the spread of Spanish flu, stay at home. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Which garden? Where? Where are the Skull voices? I want to go hunt them. I want to go fight and bite and kill them. But I'm not sure which way that is. Map. Okay, so I need to go stop putting... Damn it. Is that meant to be the garden? No, that's bloody miles away. Well, there is a winding little passage directly behind us, isn't there? Is it this? Is it we're going this way? No, it's not. It's not this way. This is just back into the hospital. But then... No, wait. This is good. Are you a skull? Yes. Oh dear. Crap. Hee hee hee. Ow. Good, well that worked. Oi! Stop it! Oh, tits. Damn it. Aha, you don't like the light. Ow, oh, shit. Shitting hell. Don't bite me. I bite you. That's how this works. Shit off. Come here. Hey. Okay, well, at least we got a watery, sturdy blood sample out of that. Had to bite myself, you horrible bastards. I knew there was going to be combat. It's at the end of a very street-like street that's very narrow and bad for you. Right, let's... 
the used scythe was okay last week, but not brilliant. Meanwhile, let's get the stake involved again. I quite enjoyed that, really. It was a good way of stunning folks so we could then bite them. Let's go with that. All right. Jolly good. The old morgue. Friendly old morgue. Glass vial, too. Let's go find some things to... Uh-oh. Blood. Upstairs. I suspect this has become a full-on den for the skull. Sk skow. Oh, no, wait. This is just the way out, isn't it? Bollocks! No! <laughs> for fuck's sake. Uh -uh. Back in. Get back in. The old morgue. Okay. It's a friendly old morgue. Anything in here? Or anyone? No, not really. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Do some of that. It's locked. It's like. locked. Let's do some of that good old fashioned killing. Back up, Johnny. Watch your stamina. Oh, yeah, you can lock on. There we go. Behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. This sickness moves faster than influenza. But we got some quinine. That's good if anyone gets malaria. Or it's good at preventing malaria, really. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> As popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Yes, we need some tartrate. This key will surely yes. grant me access to the basement. Oh, it's a real treasure trove in here. I mean, it's also populated with, like, horrible blood sucking. There's one. Oh, shit, he's got me. That one wasn't bad. It was actually quite effective. It's locked. Anything else around here? Doesn't seem like it. Ooh, what we got here? Bullet. Lovely. Just to be nosy, is there anything up here? Um, two watery rich blood samples. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Then let's go to the basement. Fuck off. Whoever that was. Where'd you go, you bastard? I like the kind of half vampire half vampire hunter thing we've got going on it is pleasing two are you eh these scowls feed from corpses and the husks of animals oh shit they're not after blood oh fuck this one's actually quite effective at dishing it out shit off I need some blood. I need to fucking autophage myself. Shit! Don't die, Johnny. That would be embarrassing. Dying to a skull. Uh oh. Fuck off, mate. Ah, oh, shit. Here comes another one. Oh, Christ! Three of them! Let's see if we can kite them upstairs. 
We can fight them in the stairwell. That's a really bad plan. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, it's a terrible idea. This is a terrible plan. Good. Well done. Maybe it's time to get the gun out. You have been defeated. Oh, don't don't punk me straight back in front of them, though. Okay? How about that? Offhand. Gun! Yes, that'll do nicely, I think. Say hello to my little friend! Oh, tits. Fucking bastard. Tried to parry with a revolver. Need a scythe for that, mate. Okay, that went better. Dear, oh dear. Let's do some autophagy. Where'd the other one go? Woo! -hoo! There you are. Uh oh! Fuck! Yes, bite, bite, bite! Lovely! Fuck off! Fuck off! Oh, what? Fuck off! This is surprisingly difficult. No, not that one. Fight that one. Bite, bite, bite. Okay. Great. Much better. Dear, oh dear. I underestimated this, this lot. <gasps> Ferrous tartrate. More quinine. Fantastic. I'm Jonathan, a doctor and a vampire. Some sort of doctor vampire. Not a vampire doctor. That's a doctor who administers to vampires. Rather, I am a... <laughs> Shut up, Johnny. <laughs> Ooh, you just acquired a new type of offhand weapon. Equip it and press right-click to directly absorb blood. Okay, yeah, we can we can do a bit of that. Offhand... I'll be honest with you, I still haven't worked out how to swap my offhand weapon in the middle of combat, but we'll get to that. A new citizen investigation is available. Press tab to open the local investigations menu. I will. Citizen investigations are displayed here, organised by districts. You can start a new citizen quest by tracking it with left mouse button, then access to your map to locate the area to explore. The harder they fall, find out about the cause of death. Report of investigation... Uh, decedent, Samuel Connor, race, Caucasoid, male, 39, unknown address, fisherman, type of death natural, probable cause of death, fast progressing pneumonia by virus, indu virus induced pulmonary consolidation, Spanish influenza. Examination attendees, Dr. Corcoran Tippett's, nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. All right. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Indeed. Are we going to look at the injuries? Or are we just... Yes, we are. The corner of the lips. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? Opened chest. The chest was originally opened to perform the operation. Mm -hmm. The sutures are clean. But the chest has been reopened. Oh... Damaged arms and legs. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Mm. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Okay, so we can count those ones out, probably. Operated lungs. A puncture over the left lung. Possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Chest hemorrhaging. Signs of internal bleeding. So... Dr. Tippett's anaesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. 
And then he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Shit. Maybe we should bite this. Tip it. Yes, I think we should. But first, we must find some sodium, so sodium hypochlorite. So, so the dodium hypochlorides. Wait, what was back there? There was more stuff in this cabinet. Yes, glass vial. What a vile thing to be. Shut up, Johnny. <laughs> oh, shit. John Doe. Uh. Look at! He can split into two! Yeah, maybe do some autophagy. Oh, shit! Yeah, bite, bite, bite. Yum, 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 yum. Right, and then do the this guy. We like this guy. Nullified? Fuck. Fuck. Ah, more like John's does. Oh, bite him! Bite him! Ah, fuck! All right. Skulls can be so ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oops. <sighs> to drink blood is so tempting. I know. I know. Sodium hypochlorite. There we go. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. What we got here? Eh? What can we get? To analyze. You have enough components to craft a medicine. Treatment for fatigue. Oh, but we can give that to somebody. Who do we need to give this to? <gasps> we can give it to the guy in the pub. Who was making love to a gorgeous bottle. Then we can drink his blood. Alright, an enigmatic formula. Analyze. Oh, we can now make treatment for cold, treatment for bronchitis, and treatment for pneumonia. What about the watery rich blood sample? Now we can make a light blood serum. Okay, cool. Great. All right. Well, that was useful. John Doe, though, what a butthole. Now. If we go back into the hospital, which is where we need to go, we can start investigating Dr. Bad Doctor, whatever his name is, who messed up that guy's operation. So that seems useful. We'll confront Dr. Tartarus, or whatever his name was. Oh, hello! Didn't see you there! Well, you put up zero fight. I'm, I want to try this. I want to try this used Liston knife. I'm curious. Oh, who's that running around, eh? Hello. Oh, shit, there's two of you. Uh oh Ow! 
fuck off. Dear oh dear, not my best work. But we lived, and that's the important bit. Now we've got a watch and quinine. See you later for gin and tonics. Quinine. Bring the medicine to Doc Dorothy Crane in the patient's room. Bring the medicine to Dorothy Crane in the patient's room. And then we got some investigating, some interrogation to do, rather. Vampiric senses. When looking for a citizen, don't forget your vampiric senses. Understood. Hello, nurse. It's dangerous in there. Do not go. What have we got in here, though? A citizen. Unknown. 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 Oh, who that? Sean. It's Mr. Hampton. Mr. Hampton, how are you? Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, sir, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Well, exactly. Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. What do you do for a living? <laughs> what do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks, and I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. No, that's not what I was trying to say. It's not like I've been repelled by one because I'm a... Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith oh. willing to preach the good word. Oh, I assumed he was. That's why I laughed when he asked, what do you do for a living? Fair enough. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really, but I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. Oh? I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke? Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. Well, Sean, thank you for that information. You've made her blood considerably sweeter. And richer in experience points. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. Fair enough. I went to his place and he refused to let me go. Yep, that sounds about right. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. Yes. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. Oh! This Miss Hawcroft. Interesting. Tell me about her. You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul searching for light. Okay, all right. What about Tom Watts? Do you know Tom Watts? The bartender from the Turtle. I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. Yes, make his blood more delicious. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Well, 
Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know. Yes, but I'd like to bite somebody. All right. What is the gen? The situation has always been tough, with a lot, a lot of tensions. Yada yada yada. How leads the gang now? Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show, with the assistance of her minion Booth Digby. Booth Digby. Has the gang been threatening you? Ah no. I have had this nickname for so long. You know, the sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint, not even criminals. Okay, okay. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. But first, I must interrogate two people. One of them. Uh, you know what? We'll 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 talk to people and make their blood more experience rich next time in a bit soon, but not right now. Where's this person I could talk to? Unknown, unknown. Dorothy Crane? Who am I? Okay, I need to talk to Dorothy Crane. But we need to interrogate Gwyneth Branigan. And according to the... Th oh, it's just a, a general area. I see. I thought she was going to be literally here. Who are you? Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Uh, Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Hi, you're not going to like this. It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Oh. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. Mm. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Ahem. <clears throat> well... Do you require medical assistance, nurse? Thank you for your concern, but I'm fine. Okay. Tippett's medical error. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. Bit of a if change in tone. If I had not up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? Well, he's not brilliant, is it? You took a great risk. You did not have the right. You took a great risk. Perhaps you did it with the best intentions, Nurse Brannigan, but you took a great risk. Must I remind you that a man died? You mean you've never made a mistake? Never covered your tracks? No, no. On, I killed my sister yesterday. I wasn't born yesterday. Okay, fine. Wow, that didn't go very well. Goodbye, nurse. Right. Oh, the doctor was standing there. Where's he gone? There are so many people to talk to and possibly devour. It's mildly overwhelming. Where's the doctor gone? Where have you gone, you bastard? All right. Hopefully we'll track him down shortly. Let's go give the goods to Dorothy. Dorothy... Where have you gone? There you are, still covered in blood. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Ooh! Did you find anything of value? Yes, Nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls. When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Okie dokie. Diseases, ugh, ugh, decrease the blood quality of a citizen. Ugh. Use the correct medicine to heal them. Also, it's a good thing to do and is your job. Speak to the patient in the room behind Dorothy's check his medical status. Chapter 2, a rat in the hospital. Interesting. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? Uh, no. Really? Why are you here, then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. 
Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. This is a hospital. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. What is that on his neck? Is it bandages or...? Tell me, about, Tell me yourself. about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, Doctor. Okay, fair enough. All right. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful, I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I'll let you get some rest. I'll let you get some rest, then. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. All right. Oh, we've got plenty of experience points now. And who are you? Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Beatrice. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? I've heard much of your talents as a physician. I just tweeted him that. Tweeted him? I just tweeted. I do tweeted him. Oh. There's so there are so many things to unravel. I wish I had all the time in the world to play this video game. But I don't. Right. Where's the good doctor? Blood temptation. Remember, citizens' blood will provide you a massive XP boost. Look for citizens of your mesmerized level or below and choose wisely. It's really blood temptation. Like the blood temptation is that message. Oh, he's upstairs. Doctor Swansea. Harriet, did you just describe? Where's Harriet? I just heard a Harriet describe the nurses as simpletons with no respect. And that will not do. Is your fucking name Harriet? Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency. Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. Doubt. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? Naturally. This is a very good example of dramatic irony, because what she doesn't know, but the audience does, is that she is in fact talking to a vampire. Anyway, I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Right, but what we want to do is find... Right, fucking... Harriet? Is that you? Damn. No, that's Thomas. Ugh. Right, we should probably treat him. Then. Ah! It's difficult being a doctor when you're also just trying to find someone called Harriet so you can give her a bollocking. Wait, who are you? Good evening, Doctor. I believe we're going to be working together. Dr. Reed. Ah. Dr. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And you are? I am Thoreau Strickland. Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Okay. I need to find the other one, though. Goodbye. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I need to find Tippets. Tippets. Are you Tippets? Let's have a chat with him. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my Fuck arrival you too, Aykroyd. convince you in some way, Dr. Aykroyd? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swansea's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals not overrated dabblers. 
Oh, I'm gonna bite you. It seems you have bad memories of your military service. I refuse to see this industrial slaughter as scientific progress. War only reveals the worst in men. We can at least agree on something, Dr. Ackroyd. I don't know what you've heard about me, but I have already proved my value as a practitioner. I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive. Ah. Is it money? Fame? Or are you truly dedicated? And what exactly is that supposed to mean? I served in the war just like you. But unlike you, I did not use the wounded to play the modern sorcerer. Be careful what you insinuate, Dr. Ackroyd. I only want you to admit you used those men to improve your theories. It must be so awkward for... Hang on one sec, let me move myself. This guy in bed. He's like, oh, I'm in pain. But there's a very heated argument going on right next to me. What have I done to deserve this? I know. Shh, 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 shh. Back you go. Under my face. There we go. This is ridiculous. My blood transfusion technique saved many lives, and you know it. You see? That is exactly what I hate about people like you. You avoid this kind of accusation instead of facing reality. I'm gonna bite you, motherfucker. Bye. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Dickhead. Right. Boy, damn it. Blaming me will not further your agenda, sir. How long's it going to take to fix me properly? A month? A year? A year. You have the right to disapprove of our methods, and you will kindly apologize when you're feeling better. Right. There's a rifle through a cabinet. Thank you. I'll have those. I'm a very important doctor. Then we must go upstairs. I'm going to put a, a pin in my search for Dr. Tippett's for now. Tippett's! Come here! Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. You'd be mm, surprised. Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett's, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. Yes. And I'm about to rock your world. Kokoran, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. Nature of the mistake? What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Who was he? Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks. Maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed a body. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it. And it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. Hmm. Okay. I'll cover for you. Sure. I mean, this game is all about moral grey areas, isn't it? I will cover for you, Dr. Tippetts. By keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I... I don't know what to say, actually. I can't exactly force you to become my accomplice. You didn't force me. This is my decision to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital. Considering the situation. Then I can make you this promise. As soon as the epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. Hooray! Good stuff. A hundred shillings. He just... Sorry, it was under my face again. He just gave us a hundred shillings. <laughs> you have this promise and a fat bung of cash. Don't rat me out. Goodbye, Dr. Tippetts. So long, Dr. Tippetts. It's time to talk to Dr. Swansey. Wow, we just exor extorted a shitload of money from that guy. And I like it. Dr. Swansey? No, it's not. He's not there.
Yes, his office. That would be the, Coming. the way to get in, wouldn't it? Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> the, you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea, but my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead, unalive, immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. <laughs> One might say a gift from heaven. Wh what? I'm a living paradox, you dickhead. There is an absurd poetry to my situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me, but I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. We need each other, sure, why not? Let's say that. I'm not some doe-eyed student, Edgar. I understand we both have something to gain from this relationship. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. All right. We're trying to prevent a scandal, are we? I will find you, Harriet. You are saying horrible things about the staff here. And I, I'll give you something to complain about. I give you a big old bite. Right. Someone impossibly delicate with a big why over their head. Why not go talk to her? The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <laughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. Renfield! You're in good hands here. And we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Hello again. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. Yes! You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Mm -hmm. Swansea fancies vampires. It's too funny not to say it. So it seems our Dr. Swansea does indeed have a fascination for creatures of our constitution. 
Dr. Swansea is a remarkable man. Mm -hmm. Dedicated, one might say, obstinate. He spent years compiling our bestiary. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, yes. has been compromised. Ooh. I'm here to help you. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. Uh-oh. I must refuse his most recent demands. Is another vampire threatening you? Who would be so foolish as to threaten you? A kindred spirit. Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. Mm. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. I hope it's Harriet. Oh, I hope it's Harriet. What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. <laughs> Fucking hell! Is that true? Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? It is only logic. I just need information. Excuse my impertinence, your ladyship. This is not an interrogation. I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. No! My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. Well, well. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. A rat in the hospital indeed. Talk to Harriet. Oh wait, she's there. Well, 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 if it... No, she is... Wait, wait, is she... this her? This must be her. No, that's not. You stop slagging off the hospital. Oh, I'm going to eat her. I'm going to eat her. I'm going to eat Harriet. I am going to maximize the XP on Harriet and I'm going to devour her. Be nice about medical staff. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? I have questions. Dr. Swansea is quite busy, and I need you to help me get acclimated. I have many questions. <laughs> How brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Yeah. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. 
You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts is a poor sod's vein. <laughs> Bloody hell, Harriet. I did not know you had that in you. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this Oof. type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. All right, mate. Fucking hell. You seem to know more about the goings-on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches' greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigans, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. I'm going to eat her. I'm going to eat her. Blood quality? Oh, it doesn't say how much XP I'd get. Maybe I have to let her live for now. Mesmerize level three. Mesmerize level three. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Nurse Pippa? Where have you gone, Nurse Pippa? Nurse Pippa. Find Nurse Pippa Hawkins. What? What? Okay. The, I'm confused by the UI. Because it looks like I'm closing in on that one, and then it boink! Are you Nurse Brown again? Good, Good evening, Nurse. Good evening, Doctor. Oh, Pippa, there you go. That's I don't why. think we've been introduced yet. No, we haven't. My name is Pippa Hawkins. Hello. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. Listen, let's get straight to it. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. I did. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. She could have said the truth. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? Oh, it is true! No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. Okay, okay. Anything what else? can you tell me? Let me get... No, that's it. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Okay. Where's Nurse Brannigan? Nurse Brannigan? Where have you gone? Dorothy? Eavesdrop. If a citizen is behaving suspiciously, their heart will emit a distinctive glow. You'll unlock a special interaction. Well, your heart seems relatively normal. Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. Newton Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. 
Please, calm, calm down. down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... But we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long okay. have you been searching for him? I, ca I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. By which I mean, I'm going to eat all the rats. I have all the information I need. Thank you. Eat all the rats by the water. Yum, yum, yum. Mobster, don't worry, we are safe. Mobster? Oh, don't come this way, Newton. There's a lot of rats. Where are they, though? I kind of just want to find the nurse. Nurse Brannigan! What are you doing around here, nurse? If indeed you are around here. What's going on? Oh, I've gone way off course. That's what's happened. Nurse Brannigan! Where the fuck have you gone? Nurse Brannigan! Brannigan! There you are. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Strange man. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. All right, cool. Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Okay. Bye. Goodbye, nurse. Where's Nurse Crane? Clay Cox, you got fatigue, my good buddy. Good evening, Mr. Cox. Dr. Reed. Still working at night, I see. I like that. And why? People who don't sleep at night always seem more alive to me. More interesting, one way or another. Okay. You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? All right. Don't give medicine. I, I've got nothing for him anyway. See you. I'll leave you for... Right. Is this where Dorothy's meant to be? Really? Wait a minute. Ah, oh, look! Fuck off, are you safe? How do I get over there? Ah, oh, there we go. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. All doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. What is going on? Oh. Let's go bite the man. Let's go bite the man. Poplar sewers. He's locked the door behind him. Oswald. I heard Oswald. I need to find another way to follow him. Guess Oswald was taken. We'll get him out, don't you worry. Oh shit, unless we won't. That sounded very bad. Oswald! This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. Where? Oh, hello.
Fuck off. <laughs> kind of unnecessary, really, that one, but... Alright, so we're saving Oswald. Fucking hell. Uh oh, steady Johnny. Watch your stamina. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. Not enough blood to autophage. It's annoying. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Oh, you're level eight. What's your stamina, Johnny? What did we say? Fuck off. A common barbed cudgel. Right, I can hear him. But I don't know where he is. Guess we'll push on. Oh, retrieve the thug in the sewers. Right. Yes, I know. You're all right. He sounds, sounds very unhappy, which I suppose you would be if you'd been kidnapped by vampires, but still. Oswald? Jolly good. Oswald? Not Oswald. The Ban of the Dragon. A rat. I can't believe what I'm doing. Yes, you can. You make lovely noises when you do it. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Just makes me laugh. Right, then. I want to see the sky. I want to die down here. Oh, shit. Oh, this is, in fairness, very bad. Sewer Beast! Hello, Sewer Beast. What sort of creature is this? Some sort of Sewer Beast? It's a legally distinct blanker from Street Fighter. And luckily it moves very slowly. Oh, did get me there, though. Oh, hello. Chop. Chop. Damn it. Really wish the range on that was bigger. All that it centred on the target, not on me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I take back everything I said about that. Wow, that thing is actually quite tough. I should have saved my blood to auto-heal. Oh well, we'll try again, shall we? You've been defeated, yes, 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 yes. I'll have to bite a civilian at some point, won't I? Right then. Okie dokie. Let's try again! Hello! Oh shit! Oh no! Don't lock onto that guy! Fuck! Well, that's a terrible start. And an awful continuation. This one might be a do over. Fuck. 
Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. Shit. Fucking hell. Okay. This guy's not messing around. No, don't lock onto that fucking guy. Your stamina, Johnny. Whoa, that went surprisingly well. this he's doing? Don't do that, it's horrible. Oh, I see, he bit me. Well, if that isn't a taste of my own. If you'll excuse the pun, medicine! Dr. Reed's gonna be fucking Dr. Deed soon. I really need to level up, don't I? This guy's level 9 and I'm level 5. And if my understanding of integers is correct, that's quite a lot higher than me. In the grand scheme of things! <laughs> Fucking hell. Fucking fuck off camera. Fuck off. Oh, good lord. I think I'm under leveled. I mean, I say I think, I know. It's patently obvious. Okie dokie. So, what I think we need to do is. <laughs> can't believe I'm saying this. We need to exit the sewers, go back to bed, evolve a bit so that we are less um, puny, and then come back and kill the thing probably next week. I'm not going to lie. I've got a, I've, I'm way under leveled and I need to... It's either going to be we do it next week or I spend another hour throwing myself against this thing. So I'm going to call it for this week. But thank you very much for being here for this uh, episode of Preston Chiodini. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, there's loads more stuff for you to watch on the channel. Uh, previous series, live streams, all that good stuff. I have a Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. There's a link in the description of this video if you're able and willing to support me directly through that. It really does make a difference. But uh, goodness me, I'm just not a very good vampire doctor or doctor vampire. It's specifically doctor vampire, not vampire doctor. Anyway, I'll be back. We'll, we'll kill the sewer beast next time. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you then. Goodbye. Have a lovely day. So long.